Hi everyone, welcome to the RPB Residence Chemistry. Now let us continue our lectures on electrical chemistry. Particularly, today we are going to discuss about uh, one of the best uh, topic in electrical chemistry that is nothing but uh, electrode potential. Okay, now let us go through the topic that is electrode potential. So now, here, so let us assume, here it is the uh, electrochemical cell, one, uh, one of the off cell. So here it is the electrolyte. So we will dip the sum of the electrode into the corresponding electrolytic solution. Okay. So here electrode having the positive, negative, positive, negative, this type of positive, negative, positive, negative charges. Okay. Now here whenever an uh, electric uh, like a metallic rod which is dipped into the corresponding solution. So the metallic rod acquires either positive or negative charge either positive or negative charge whenever we will we'll switch on this circuit that means electrical circuit is passed into the corresponding electrolyte okay now on account of this so here the electrode potential the metallic electrical rod the metallic uh, that is sim simply it is nothing but a electrode and its corresponding electrolytic solution which have some definite uh, potential difference okay we observe some potential difference between the these particular electrolytic solution and uh, electrode so that uh, potential difference of electrolytic solution and electrode is called as electrode potential is called as electrode potential so these electrode potential which explained by the two terms now let us uh, two factors the first factor which is explained by the following diagram now here it is the like a uh, negative charges here it is the positive charge so here it is the electrode which having the equal number of positive and negative charges whenever we will we will apply the sum of the electricity through the corresponding solution here and th this is assumed as a left hand side electrode so left hand side electrode that means here it lost their electrons and it accumulates the positive charges towards itself that means uh, surrounded itself so here it is the uh, like a uh, electrode electrolytic solution here negative 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 so those positive charges accumulated surrounded by the the uh, like electrode particular electrode now here metal rod here it is a metal rod metal carried by negative charge simply it is metal with a negative charge metal with a negative charge now here what will happen the metal can converts into its corresponding ions with the help of loss of electrons with the help of loss of electron this is this is only absorbed so now here metal can converts into corresponding metal ions metal can converts into corresponding metal ion that tendency is called as electrolytic solution pressure that tendency is called as electrolytic solution pressure electrolytic solution pressure okay so this is the first effect so which are helpful to explain the electrode potential okay now what will happen metal with the uh, metal the tendency of metal which converts into corresponding ions which is nothing but a electrolytic solution pressure now besides that now here it is the like an electrode electrochemical cell here it is the like an a ca ca cathode so let us assume here positive negative positive negative okay whenever we will apply the sum of the electricity through the corresponding electrode here the metal cations here the electrolytic solution having the cations that metal cations which gains the electron from the other compartment and it appears as a metal that metal started to deposit at the corresponding electrode okay so that metal so the metal cations started to deposit at the corresponding electrode okay now here the positive negative charges will re will retains okay now again uh, extra positive charges are surrounded by the metal atom so that is the deposition the extra metal atom which is deposited at the particular electrode now here metal carried by the metal with a positive charge simply it's not a metal it is electrode with a positive charge electrode with positive charge now here also electrode with a positive charge now here the electrode the tendency of the electrode the metal cations which gains the electron from the other compartment and it forms the metal so the tendency of a metal cations which gains the electron and it forms the metal neutral metal atom so that metal started to deposit at the particular electrode that tendency is called as osmotic pressure which are already discussed in our our earlier classes that is a like a in calligative property classes now here it is the first effect here it is the second effect first and second effect now in uh, in starting so these two effects having the different different speeds 
random speeds but uh, uh, a certain time here these two are combining at uh, it maintains the certain uh, equilibrium certain equilibrium state okay now however in practice so one of the effect definitely it greater than that of the second effect okay so uh, in that cases uh, one of the effect is having the highly positive charge or negative charge okay now let us assume here the first one first effect is greater than that of the second effect then electrode which maintains the negative charge is it right or wrong so why because first effect is nothing but electrolytic solution pressure but second effect is uh, osmotic pressure so if electrolytic solution pressure is greater than that of the osmotic pressure then electrode maintains the negative charge and similarly so the second effect is greater than that of the first effect so then electrode with positive charge electrode with positive charge now here the osmotic pressure is greater than that of the electrolytic solution pressure electrolytic solution pressure these two uh, these two effects which explains the electrode potential electrode potential again the magnitude of electrode potential which explained or which measured by the losing or gaining of the electron again i repeated my sentence so the magnitude of electrode potentials which measures with the help of uh, you know, losing of electron or gaining of electron okay again the magnitude of electrodes the magnitude of electrodes magnitude of electrodes which are influences some of the factors the first factor is uh, like a uh, nature of electrode nature of electrode now the second factor is like a concentration of ions concentration of ions in solution now the third factor is uh, like it is a temperature it is a temperature so these three factors which are influences on the magnitude of electrode now again i'll explain the two related terms regarding to the our electrode potential with the help of abo diagrams now i'll explain the two related terms okay now here so let us assume when electrode with negative charge with a negative charge when electrode with negative charge so then our electrode act as anode our electrode act as anode definitely we know that at anode definitely it undergoes the oxidation reaction okay oxidation takes place oxidation takes place okay so oxidation is nothing but a losing of electron metal can converts into corresponding metal ions with the help of losing of electron now here metal can converts into metal cations corresponding cations with the help of oxidation reaction that's why these potential difference is called as oxidation potential these potential difference is called as oxidation potential is it clear now in similarly now when metal with basically it is not metal electrode with positive charge so then it act as it act as cathode so we know that at cathode reduction takes place only at cathode only reduction reaction reduction takes place only so in case of reduction so the gaining of electrons the metal cation which gains the electron from the other compartment and it forms the metal atom okay now here the electrode potential difference observed in case of reduction reaction that type of reactions are known as like a reduction potential reduction potential that differential potential is known as a reduction potential so now we are related like uh, these two terms one is oxidation potential and another another one is reduction potential so that's why so uh, in galvanic cells the left side left hand side electrode left hand side electrode is named as anode so which is shown by the negative charge due to the negative charge again here oxidation takes place here the loss of electron also takes place now here uh, reduction potential so this is the right hand side electrode it act as cathode reduction takes place okay now let us go through the uh, some of the measurements of electromotive forces
Okay, now let us calculate the EMF measurements. So EMF, we don't know the original definition of EMF, that is nothing but electromotive force. Now let us go through the very basic concept. So let us assume here it is the two arc cells. One is a, an electrode, it is another electrode. Here it is the, the corresponding electrolytic solution. Corresponding electrolytic solution. Now these two are connected through a salt bridge. These two are connected through a salt bridge. Again, these two electrodes which is connected to a like an, a digital voltmeter which is connected through the corresponding digital voltmeter voltmeter so these these appears like here this digital uh, instrument which will show the like a uh, potential difference between the, these two of cells okay now here left hand side compartment and right hand side compartment so here two of cells now the emf is nothing but so the potential difference of two of cells is called as electromotive force now again i repeated in my sentence the potential difference of two of cells left hand and right hand side of cells is called electromotive force is called a electromotive force simply it is called as emf okay now in case of the our galvanic cells now the left hand side it it undergoes the like a left hand side it undergoes the like a, it is it is termed as anode it, it undergoes the oxidation so in case of oxidation the potential difference the potential difference of the left hand side part is nothing but a oxidation potential okay now left hand side we observe oxidation potential that is anode so in similarly right hand side it is cathode so this is nothing but a reduction potential this is nothing but a reduction potential we observed these two terms okay so now the calculation the measurement of emf is nothing but so now here the measurement of emf is nothing but so oxidation potential of anode oxidation potential of anode plus the reduction potential of cathode a reduction potential of cathode so here left side compartment it undergoes the some of the like uh, electrolytic solution pressure that is uh, it, it leads to the oxidation potential and right side compartment it leads to the like a uh, reduction potential of cathode so that, with the help of uh, like osmotic pressure effect so now these two potential difference which measured uh, like here like 0 0.76 1.11 uh, some of the values okay so with the help of these digital voltmeter so the difference between the two two of cells uh, in a uh, particular electrodes uh, two of cells so which is present in the some of the particular of cells the electrode which are present in the particular of cells so with the help of this digital voltmeter we can calculate the those potential difference that potential difference is called as emf okay. now, however so the potential difference here it is observed the potential difference that is emf value so if uh, the left hand side electrode that is uh, like uh, oxidation potential right hand side electrode that is cathode that is nothing but a reduction potential so without knowing these two values we know that so when we use these two types of cells it is zinc rod it is copper rod we have the certain value that is 1.10 so like etc okay so without knowing these two values we cannot calculate the electrode potential of these two values okay we don't know the, these two values but how can we calculate without without knowing the standard values of these two okay so now we know the value but uh, we cannot determine these two values at the same time we cannot determine these two values at the same time that time we need a standard one okay so now here here it is the like uh, in a marker so how can you tell it is the larger marker or smaller marker so without a comparison okay now here it is the like a uh, marker which is a capless marker with this cap marker so when compared to these two here capless marker is a smaller than that of the cap marker okay without comparison we cannot determine whether it is larger or smaller okay in similarly so here without a reference we cannot calculate those electrode potential of at a particular half cell either left hand half cell or right hand half cell so that's why we required some of the reference compound that reference compound is nothing but that a reference compound is nothing but a standard hydrogen electrode so here a standard hydrogen electrode value is zero that is the zero standard hydrogen electrode so that value is zero so let us assume that here right hand side is a standard hydrogen electrode so we don't know the left hand side the value so the potential difference between these two are this uh, like uh, uh, appears over there 
so then that difference here it is the zero whatever the value over there that is displayed over the here okay so then uh, in this method like in this uh, uh, like reference method we can calculate the particular electrode particular electrode so now again uh, we keep the like uh, standard hydrogen electrode potential in another side we calculate the another electrode potential values okay with the help of uh, standard hydrogen electrodes or standard electrodes we can determine the electrode potential of two different offsets okay again we need the some some other term definition so that is a like a standard electrode potential standard electrode potential now here standard electrode potential so the standard according to the IUPAC the standard which is denoted by the E naught which is denoted by the E naught so that the standard which which gives the information that is 25 degree centigrade temperature and one molar concentration one molar concentration this is called the standard value okay so whenever the standard value the standard oxidation potential or which is represented the standard reduction potential in similarly the standard oxidation potential which is represented like this okay so in our uh, like problematic questions they are given in the oxidation standard oxidation potential but our problem needed the standard reduction potential okay so many of the students they did mistake they did are the mistaken at uh, the problem like uh, these type of uh, uh, values okay so they are given in the oxidation potential but we need the reduction potential okay without knowing the concept we cannot uh, attempt those type of questions so if we we attempt the question that will be gives the negative answer okay so that's why here we need the e standard reduction potential which can converts into corresponding oxidation potential with the help of negative charge so the quite opposite in similarly so e oxidation potential is nothing but a negative of e reduction potential negative of e reduction potential so these are the standard value these are the like standard values okay again we are calculated the like galvanic cell emf value okay a galvanic cells emf value emf value of galvanic cells like the those model cells okay so many of the like electrochemistry which is which is related to the our galvanic cell so simply here so this is the anode so this is the cathode now here the anode to cathode we observed the flow of electrons flow of electrons but cathode to anode we observed the flow of current flow of current these two are observed so anode to cathode that is flow of electrons uh, in our previous classes so we are already discussed we are discussed that is uh, anode to cathode is the flow of electron from cathode to anode that is flow of uh, current okay now here emf value of the galvanic cells which are classified which are uh, measured in three different ways based on the given data now the first one when oxidation potential of anode when they are given oxidation potential of anode and the reduction potential of cathode so that time the emf value emf that is simply it is known as e cell e cell value so the oxidation potential of anode simply the oxidation potential of anode plus the reduction potential of cathode the reduction potential of cathode this is nothing but a our emf value again it is also written as like this e anode e anode plus e cathode okay so here it is the reduction potential here it is the oxidation potential here it is the oxidation potential so when these type of formula when are used here oxidation potential of anode and reduction potential of cathodes are given okay now the second one when both are given in standard reduction potentials st standard reduction potential so then e cell value is equal to e like simply srp of standard reduction potential of standard reduction potential of cathode minus srp of anode srp of anode why because here they are given in the both values are in reduction potential so in case of reduction potential so right one having the higher reduction potential so the like a difference between the higher to lower reduction potential of uh, higher value is cathode now the lower value is anode so that's why we are subtracted the uh, like a lower value of the standard reduction potential from the higher value okay so according to the our assumption now in similarly which is also called uh, which is also represented like a e cathode minus e anode e cathode minus e anode again which is also represented like a 
e left hand side sorry v right hand side minus e left hand so here e right minus e left so these are the simplest representation simplest measurements of the electromotive force now this the third one both are given in both are in oxidation potential both are in oxidation potential so then e cell value is equal to like oxidation potential of oxidation potential of anode minus oxidation potential of cathode oxidation potential of cathode which is also written as e of anode minus e of cathode quite opposite to the second one so many of the reactions they are given in the like uh, both are standard reduction potential why i'll explain the later okay now which is also called as e left minus e right e left minus e right so these are the different different uh, formulas which are useful for calculation of emf value okay many of the basic level students uh, they are required these type of formulas only okay so in in higher level like a uh, national level competitive exam also they are given in these type of uh, uh, very basic formulas okay now in next video i'll come with a very very simple trick definitely i'll give the promise to you so whenever you will see the these type of electromotive formula uh, electromotive problems uh, within fraction of seconds so don't go for the minutes i'll give the simple trick within fraction of seconds uh, you can calculate the those emf value without any hesitation okay so i'll give the uh, very simple trick in our uh, next video okay now again so among these three formulas with the help of these three formulas we can calculate the emf values again so the among the, these three so the second one is most useful formula most useful formula why because so they are in uh, our next videos we are discussed as some electrochemical series so those electrochemical series they are given in the like uh, always they are given in the standard reduction potential values okay so many of the metals having the their standard reduction potential values that's why they are uh, given the standard reduction potential values of those series in our exams copy and paste like that okay so that's why many of the reactions they are given in the standard reduction potentials but sometimes some of the like uh, examiners they are asked in different ways that's why i'll give the three problems uh, in this manner okay i think this is very helpful topic for each and every competitive exam okay so that's why i will make this this video in with the lesser time okay i think it is very helpful for you okay thank you so much for watching